us, but at least two new millionaires. Maybe they're relatives. Uh, yeah, they certainly are. They should be. They're living <laughs> among us in Central Florida this afternoon. As we told you at the top of the hour, someone bought one of three winning Powerball tickets worth more than $528 million at a Melbourne Beach Publix. And then another lucky person won $2 million in Lake, two, I can't even say it, $2 million in Lake Mary. Channel 9's Denise Broom talked with a financial advisor about what they should do to keep that money. For weeks, we've been hearing what people would do with the millions if they won the Powerball. But now most of us know we won't be the ones getting the cash in on that. But there are two people in our area who are ready to spend millions. So we found out from a financial advisor what they should do first. In the age of up to the second updates. First step is to keep your mouth shut. Joe Burr is a certified financial planner in Altamont Springs and says discretion will be key for the two big winners in our area to keep their winnings. It can be a blessing and it can be a curse. And what you need to do is get your head on straight. Bert says the Powerball winner with more than $528 million in Melbourne Beach and Lake Mary's $2 million winner should lock up those winning tickets in a bank safe deposit box. Then call a financial advisor. People will be after you once again with schemes and needs and wants. And the best thing to do is have somebody say, listen, I don't make these decisions. I have a professional that does this for me. Here's his or her number. Bert says properly laying out legal and financial plans with an advisor could take three to six months. But that time is crucial to make sure that money lasts, especially for the Powerball winner who could face estate taxes down the road. And unfortunately, if they die early on, they can lose half of that amount to estate taxes. So you have to do some estate planning. That's critical. Creating a trust could also be an option for passing assets to an heir. You have to be very careful about what you're going to do and be discreet. Reporting in Orlando, Dinesh Broom, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And you can listen to everything that advisor Joe Bird had to say by going to the video section of WFTV.com. We both chuckled. Yeah.